my god, my hero, I'm so sorry, it's late, please forgive me, senpai. Uh, well, mostly my fault, but it's whatever. It's, it's a little bit of both of our faults, I mean, like it usually is. You see, you got this boy over there in Vegas, staying up till 6am, which is 9am my time, and then me having a 4am job, it's, it's weird. <laughs> It's uh, one of those things where somehow we make it work through time zones. Mm-hmm. It's like, you know how like the sh- like the shitty romance Romeo Juliet style, like uh, yeah. no matter how far we go, uh. no <laughs> nah, bro, we- Romeo and Juliet ain't got nothing on the fucking like Mr. Krabs and SpongeBob. Okay, I'm gonna be real, bro. Like ain't the same without so you. Funny too, cause I-, I love the fact that. We get to like we get to learn that like Romeo and Juliet's whole story was just so flawed because just like a bunch of teenagers just horny for each other. Oh yeah, that the, uh, you know Romeo themselves. and Juliet that that wouldn't have lasted more than two fucking months and they fucking died for that shit. <laughs> they, they like if we yeah. lived in like ancient times, that shit would be happening constantly. Like the, you know you see like fucking couples like get together and break up all on Facebook. Like that's that's our version of like them dying for that shit. <laughs> Yeah, like they died. <laughs> they died. They killed themselves because they couldn't be together. Well, how old were they? Like fourteen? <laughs> uh, I think Juliet was younger than Romeo was. Like, Bruh. I don't know, but also Romeo would have been canceled. Obviously, <laughs> he killed someone. How dare you take advantage? No, no, no. It's because he took advantage of a younger woman. Really? I don't uh, know. I, I mean, I, I need to know how old they both were. But like, I was, I was trying to make a witty joke about cancel culture. Jesus. Yeah. No, you know who would have been canceled? Shakespeare. Oh, yeah. Right. Right. Horikoshi being canceled for drawing fucking beach scenes. Bro, Hamlet fucking, uh, uh, what's the other one? Um, I don't know, bro. I don't fucking give a shit about Shakespeare. It's not my shit. Meanwhile, no one will be seated during the Thurman attempts to think of more Shakespeare plays part of the review. Or maybe Thurman just got a call. God damn it, Thurman. <laughs> One. All right, Thurman's back from whatever the fuck his family just made him do. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm out of breath. I'm fat. No, I'm no, bro. Did you see that? My favorite comment of all time. It was like, nobody... Dot dot Thurman oh. smacks lips. So here's the thing. <laughs> Hold on, I'm right back. My God. Okay, Thurman's back for the third time. If any of your family comes in now, you just you just gotta move. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, Shakespeare canceled. Cancel, cancel culture and yeah. Old yeah, it would have hit um, Shakespeare hard. Okay, now to the chapter. <laughs> I mean, there's going to be a lot of a lot of that. So, I really like this chapter. One of my favorites in a while. Like, semi time skip you wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I have to jump straight into the garbage, straight into the de- degeneracy. Hirokoshi confirming ships. Confirming ships. Bro, I can't even. Can, can we just with fucking Mina, okay? Mina and Kirishima. Oh my god. The little tongue out thing always gets me. Shit's so fucking cute, I can't. And it doesn't fucking help that she's in, like, ultimate viscosity mode. So she's, like, soaking wet. And I don't mean that in a sexual way. I mean that in, like, looks like she just came out of a rainstorm way. So it's, like, even cuter. I love it. I can't even. (laughs) Kirishima, yo! Yo, Kirishima is one lucky man. (laughs) Good for him. So for all you fucks out there who's like, oh, Kirishima X Bakugo, no, 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 no. He gay! And I'll list (laughs) out some characters that are gay. I'm not anti-gay, okay? Fucking Ruby from Ruby, I guarantee you is gonna be gay. Fucking Crow, maybe. Fucking... (laughs) But not him, goddammit. It's so funny because uh, people... people... (laughs) This should be a People gay character. Just, just what do you like, think about belly button laser guy? Will he be gay? It's, it's, it's the same thing with fucking Golden Q. Like, Bakugo oh. and Kirishima are just good friends, you know? Kir- Kirishima handled the Bakugo's fucking bakugo right? So it's like he like he doesn't he's not scared of Bakugo's, like, out loud, blurting, like, raw, yeah, right? <laughs> and it's interesting that you bring that up because we are, like, we're living in a weird fucking world where, like, the line between friendship and relationship is so blurred. And, like, part of me doesn't mind that. 
uh, because I'm all for like, I'm a big proponent of like saying, I love you. Like, uh, you know, platonically, like I tell Thurman, I love him all the time. We make gay jokes to each other all the time about wanting to suck each other off all that bullshit. Cause you know, we're confident. We're not, we're not fucking like self-conscious about our masculinity. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. but at the same time, I do see it like there's a, if you ever watch black mirror, there's an episode where, um, like they, it's like in the distant future, VR technology has gotten so good that you can like go into like basically like a VR chat, but like fuck in VR chat and you can change your avatar. So like, let's say you and I went into VR chat Thurman and one of us changed into a girl. Would we fuck? Oh, hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. So like there's a fucking black mirror episode about that. And then they're like sitting there like, are we gay? What does this mean? Is this is weird. <laughs> and like, so like the more we go towards this, like, like people just can't fucking separate friendship and like that. And so I'm not blaming that. I get it. Right. Cause like the more we go, cause, you know, bat once upon a time and th- obviously this is wrong, but once upon a time, you know, society did see like, obviously you can only be romantically attracted to the opposite sex. But now that that's obviously not the case anymore and society is accepting like gay stuff. I understand that people can basically anyone that looks at each other for more than two seconds, people are going to be like, they want to fuck clearly. Oh, like, <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, because, I mean, it's, it's – I, I never like to assume – like, even, like, when it's just, like, like, ho- like heterosexual relations, I never want to assume, yes. like – you know, because guys and girls can be friends. Like, that's possible. It's a thing. But it's just, like, society is kind of like, oh, no, they can't be – No, don't even tell they- me. Like, you realize I was sitting – I was having lunch with my best friend's girlfriend, uh, Catherine, one day. And the first thing that happened was some old man walked by. You know how old men are. They're fucking weird. And he was like, you be- make sure you're treating her well. Yeah. And I'm like, stop. We're not in a relationship. Stop it. <laughs> so cringe. <laughs> that happens to me all the time with some of my female best friends, bro. Like oh, we get yeah. along so well. People think we're a couple. Like I had a, one of my female best friends, like every time I'm with her, someone always asks me, if she, someone always asks her if she's my girlfriend. Everyone thinks, for dating people ship us all the time but like no she has a man like come on now. like and it was like a big thing too like just a uh, back in high school they used to always like uh people used to always say like make jokes about that and that shit didn't bother me but you know it's just it's just so funny it's just shit like that happens right like when you're so close with someone right people it, it may seem like it's a relationship but it's really not right mm-hmm. especially when it's a female friend because uh i've had that happen it never happened with Kayla. Uh, it never happened with Michelle. It's always happened with uh, the one best friend that you know, the best friend you know, and Jessa. So more so with the other one because, you know, always getting shipped, you know. Yeah. So it's, it, but either way, it's a, that's one of those things where now that it's not as obvious, obviously, we can't just assume, you know, it's not like the late 90s where when I, you know, or like the early 2000s, back in the day when I was watching something, it was like, oh, we know how writing goes. Man, woman together, they look at each other for two seconds, they a ship. Now, <laughs> in the in the brave world of 2020 and beyond, it's true that anyone that is like getting along, the author could take it in that direction. Uh, but you kind of have to start, you have to like get the vibe of what the author is it's it's like they've opened up more options, right? So it's like it's like a game went from having one possible ending to like seven. You know what I mean? Like like now now there's just more possibilities, and you have to be more analytical. And now, I think the problem is some people are just not analytical enough to like be like, okay, well, is this character actually gay? You know, and, and there's any a good author will give hints to that. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. Like right not, now, not I, I, I keep going back to Ruby because it is one of the shows that like does more LGBT stuff. And, like, in Ruby, you have many possibilities. Like, Blake, there's there's a legitimate, like, multiple possibilities with her. She's they've, they've, set, they've taken the time to set up a relationship with her and a male character. And they've taken the time to set up a relationship with her and a female character. So we have no idea. She could be bi, or maybe there'll be the big reveal of who she actually is into. But, like, there's a possibility there. You know, but, but I mean, the author, Horikoshi, seems to be clearly pushing for a long time this him and uh, Mina thing. Yep, and then him and Uraka. Oh, the Manetta, fist bump. Minetta. Oh yeah, Minetta realizes it finally, and he's just, like, Minetta, you gotta stop. Like, if you you stay away from Uraka, you don't fucking touch her. Bruh. He, he's got. Minetta's got to realize he's got to put effort in, bro. Like, he's got to just 
be a genuine person. He can't just be pervin. He can't just be like, ladies, come to my room and let me show you something special. It's not how that works, Mineta. You can't be jealous of Deku. You've done no effort in being a normal human being to these women. You treat them like aliens. Fucking relax and be a normal dude. I don't think I think it's just like cause he, I mean to be fair him and kind of argued the same thing when uh, Westerface was fucking hugging up on him and shit right so no, I, no, I don't, I don't, that, I don't know what scene you're talking about but there's no way in hell Kanamari or ever fucking like acted as crazy as Mineta like like there's there's, there's many tiers of pervertedness okay like Jiraiya Master Roshi and fucking any other pervert you can think of never took it to the level that Mineta takes it to <laughs> It's, uh, he's, Mineta's like, uh, cause Kanamari, him and Kanamari were like, were like, Deku, what the fuck is this? Well, how <laughs> did you know that you were talking to this hot chick, right? And you, it was literally in the, in the license arc. You don't remember that shit? Uh, remind me, which arc? Where she was, uh, where they had to get their hero licenses. Oh, when he was talking to, uh, the one that ended up actually being Toga. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Deku, you've betrayed the bro code. <laughs> so it's just so funny, bro. That's just no, funny as shit. No, man, I mean, if I walked then, up on you, like, if you remember correctly with that scene, I'm pre- pretty sure they saw him with her, like, she was, like, completely naked, wasn't she? Yeah, I think she yeah, hugged him. Yeah, so, I mean, like, kid. I mean, if I walked up on you, if I literally, okay, so let, let, let's create a scenario here. Let's say I, I come to visit you in Vegas, I knock on your apartment door, and, like, a fully naked woman around your age just walks out and, like, waves bye to you or some shit. And I'd be, I would have to be like, Thurman, you want to explain that? What the fuck? What the fuck's that? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you not uh, telling me, Thurman? You promised the second you lost your virginity, you'd tell me. Oh, uh, it happened on the whim. <laughs> <laughs> it happened just, just now. Surprise. It was a, it was a impulse. Impulse. <laughs> Actually, that was a prostitute I hired. Finally happened. <laughs> yep. Age twenty five, finally did it. Uh, beautiful. So, but yeah, no, that shit's adorable. I'm very excited to see where that goes, and I'm loving what we're doing. Like, All Might has them go through and like list what they've like grown on, right? And I kind of want to like go through and analyze that shit. Um. So let me find it here. So obviously we go have uh, the, 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 oh, go ahead. Analyze comprehension. Oh, I got you. Okay. So first. We have, um, and any names that I've semi-forgotten, I'm going to just refer to them in a dumb way. Uh, the uh, fucking laser navel dude. You want to remember the name for me? That's what I, I fucking thought. <laughs> anyway, I, laser navel dude. Um, I'm loving this team up because we did learn back in that same arc you were just referencing that Invisible Girl can, like, refract light waves, right? Because, I mean, that is what her quirk is, right? She's being invisible by refracting light waves. So, the fucking best team up, he can ejaculate a light dick, and she can fucking, like, maneuver it around. That's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, that's funny. The that new is... ship? Am I right? Well, we need to happen. <laughs> you know, here coach is gonna be like, alright, every, every, everyone in class A is going to be in a relationship, we're gonna make it happen. It's not now, gonna if be he doesn't like... do any gay ships, though, he will be cancelled. We all know this. <laughs> yeah, he's gonna be cancelled. Why is this... <laughs> It's been hinted at this, 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 and this. Oh my god, here comes you bad author. What do you think about a razor oh. head and a uh, present mic? Are they gay? Keep in mind, if you're the type of person who is sending death threats to a creator because you they don't make their character yeah, gay, you are, you are part of the problem and you need mental help. Yeah, no, if you, if any, if in any world anyone thinks that sending a death threat is somehow, like, comparable or, like, makes you a better person than someone who didn't write a gay ship... Like, like, I would agree with you if, if there's not even one gay relationship, I'd be a little like, mm, okay, you probably should have at least one, but like, it's not even at all worth fucking even tweeting at him, let alone death threatening. Yeah. So, uh, uh but anyway, have... though, I like that. That's a cool way to use his power. Um, I like that Horikoshi's giving like development to the, these powers, to these characters that are very underused. And I'm hoping that they all have a part to play in this upcoming, like, basically Marine Ford of My Hero Academia that's about to happen here. Max I Viscosity have... oh, is exactly. fucking awesome. I love, I love how she looks when she comes down. She's just looking like a badass, and I fucking love it. Thoughts? <laughs> um, I'm actually so that actually shocked me, bro, because I, I was just like, okay, so here, Koshi's actually doing what I've been complaining about this the entirety of the time, you know, giving the supporting character something. Like, but but here's the thing: you have to differentiate though, because you didn't like 
the the massive focus on or you didn't like that one arc that was like slowly paced and like had a lot of B character stuff like what's different about this cuz i agree this is really good no i i didn't say that no 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 the arc where the arc that you didn't like the the one that was like with the B the the B class people yeah it was just, it was slowly paced because it didn't it didn't feel like we were uh the fights were we the fights weren't as good as what we were given. Like I, I feel like my villain academia was slower paced, but we were given decent fights and good shit. That's why I liked it. It was actually pretty good. But the B class shit was just if they're focusing too much on people that we already know about. Mm. Okay. And that's the biggest issue because like everyone who got their time to shine already had their time to shine. You know, like hell, Bakugo even got his time to shine. This nigga's been getting his time to shine the entire of the series, right? Right. So okay, fair enough. Um, I, I like this. I like this because we're finally. It's showing to me that Hirokoshi has, didn't forget that he has multiple characters in his series, like you know some people like to do for some odd fucking reason. <laughs> Truth. If you're not gonna utilize all your characters, do not put multiple characters in your series. I agree. Um, let's see here. So we go through. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of the ones that I, that stood out to me. Okay, the team up of Saro, Tape Guy, and Mineta, Sticky Ball Guy, just the ultimate stick ball, bro. Like, just stick the fuck out of them. I love that, bro. <laughs> look at the sticky ball. <laughs> just and, and look, they trained their Mount Ladies, so I can just imagine, like, like you know, they're coming up on a villain, like stick the fuck out of them. Uh, that's so funny to me, bro. Like, oh my god, yo! <laughs> like, <laughs> that's great. Because it's cra- it's crazy, right? Because each combination makes sense. It's definitely one of those things where, like, here Koshi was like, you know what? We're gonna go to the drum ball. We have a whole break. We have a whole time. Let me see whose quirks I can combine. You know, like we're gonna do some Nomu type shit. Like, okay, so all my so one for all captured these motherfuckers and blending them together. This is what you get. You know, in a less dark way. It's dark and oddly specific, but I had to do it. Sorry, can you say it one more time? I, I got distracted by a message. Oh my god! No, just you. that one time, bro. I'm sorry. Like, like I've sent that fanfic I wrote to people. And I, and <laughs> I like... did... So, okay, what did you what did you hear? Something about a dark way. Oh my god! <laughs> Make it... So it'd be. It'd be like Hirokoshi took a whole took a whole break, right? He's like, all right, so if one for all killed these students and put them together, this is the quirk that would make. And this is what he did. He basically said, he basically made them uh, comb- have their teamwork, right? He was like, all right, so one for all captured these guys. This is the Nobu that would appear from this, right? Oh, so like, oh yeah. So and Tape Guy and Manena, right? If they're a Nobu. It'd be sticky tape ball, right? Bro, that's fucked up. So basically what you're saying is if All for One was watching right now, he'd be like, mm, I know you've done the fucking recipe for me. Here, thank you for those recipe cards. I can just, so Invisible Girl and fucking Belly Button Laser, he makes a Nomu that can shoot bendy fucking lasers. We got ben sticky Light Nomu Girl. over here. I get what you're saying, yeah. Here, Koshi, that's phenomenal. Bad Hirokoshi, you mad lad, yo! I wonder, dude, you get massive props if that ends up happening, <laughs> like, to one of these teams. <laughs> oh, my God. And that was on a whim, too. I was just like, you know what? That's interesting. I wonder if Hirokoshi was just like, like, you know, like, it was the teams you got, right? <laughs> this will be what this, this will be what happened if you turn it into Nobu's. <laughs> I wonder, <laughs> you know, honestly, dark. like, oh, man. That's crazy. Because, like, obviously, in this same chapter, we have them talking about, like, what would you do if you found out where they made those no-moves? You know what I mean? Like, Yeah. Oh. That's some weird shit, bro. <laughs> Let's see. More. I mean, let me scroll through this chapter and what else we got here. Um, so, Uraka has, like, and this is fucking genius, and she should have been doing this for a while. I'm, I'm shocked it took her this long. Zero gravity. Yeah, get yourself some fucking, uh, get yourself a way to pull yourself around in zero gravity. And I love that, it, obviously, you know, it's uh, inspired off of Black Whip, which I still don't know how I, I mean, how I feel about it necessarily. <laughs> you say you don't like it. You say you don't like it. You don't like it, but you have to deal with it because it's now canon. <laughs> the best, the best but like, sense. I want to like it, Thurman. I want to like it. It's okay. You don't have to like everything about a series, okay? That's not... You know, you don't you don't have to agree. We had the same con- 
Same uh, same conversation with Rax on Twitter. Shout out to Rax. Anyway, uh, yeah. Shout so- out to Rax. Uh, Rax the hero on Twitter. Although be careful of his shitty political beliefs. Yeah, but the man- <laughs> I will never not call that out. Jujutsu Kaisen and Black Clover fan. Hmm, the guy's not bad. Just say it. The guy I has taste. Yeah, but I'm bleeding like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's dry as fuck up here in michigan man i hate it so <laughs> why the dry it should be fucking isn't it like fucking winter out there or some that's shit that's dry when it's less than freezing all the water in the air freezes bro oh shit that's some science shit hold on <laughs> <laughs> oh shit that's some science shit thurman 2020 my science 2k 2020 I blinded him with science okay so uh, Bakugo increased his, uh, explosion capabilities, uh, Todoroki got faster, and, ba- oh, bro, I'm sorry, Deku, though, holy fuck, this panel That's with Deku, so this like- fucking panel with Deku right now, honestly, <laughs> hype. So, I- now, so, now that he's learned the, the whip, now he has about, what, six other quirks he has to learn? <laughs> yeah, and, and, um, All Might's put, now, here's exciting, right? All Might's <laughs> now put this fucking file down, like, alright, here's the rest of the fucking quirks you're gonna have access to. Are we going to find out about them immediately, or is Horikoshi going to, like, I want tease the dick and, like, have it just be revealed as he gets them? Like, some Ben I'd 10 rather, shit. Like, you got a new alien, bitch. <laughs> I'd, rather, I'd rather him do it immediately so we can, like, kind of know. I, I mean, disagree. I think it, it'd be a lot more fun not, if it's like, oh, well, maybe you have a point. Sorry, go ahead and finish your point, and then I'll... Because, because here's the thing, right? We are, The course that they have that's passed down probably isn't, you know, a secret. If if All Might has a list of it, I'm pretty sure these are all heroes that were well known in their own eras, right? So like their quirks right. are probably were, were probably well known regardless, anyways. So us knowing all of them right now would be fine because it's not like he's gonna learn how to do them tomorrow because he still has to, I believe, because I believe the guy said that you'll learn them, you'll unlock each one one by one eventually, right? I think I think he said according to like need, like when you need it most or some shit, yeah, like. Exactly. I don't know, because he said something like you were desperate to do something that needed this quirk, therefore it activated, I don't know. Yeah, so I think it might be one of those situations to where Deku's, he's going to learn how to use them, utilize them, but in different, you know, in different ways. Like, uh, so you think, like, to- you think we're going to get the whole file run down? Like, here's all the quirks you're going to get, have fun activating them. I don't know, that doesn't seem very, I mean- like... So we'll have to find it doesn't out. seem like how a story would be told to me. You know, it feels like it'd be more advantageous to Horikoshi to bullshit them as he goes. That's fine. I just prefer if we learn them right away because, no, I mean... Just- I get that. I, but, like, I'm saying, like, think about it from Horikoshi's perspective. <clears throat> if you tell them all now, he's kind of got to, like, be Oda-ing it where he knows exactly what's going to happen. But, like, from Horikoshi's perspective, if you just say, hey, you got six unknown goddamn quirks that you'll just get whenever... He could literally be in a situation where, like, oh boy, how how's Deku gonna get out of this one? Just kidding, he just uh, unlocked this quirk that perfectly gets him out of this situation. Uh, which, as much as I wouldn't like that, I have a feeling Horikoshi might do that. <laughs> yeah, I think I just because if we, uh, I think it'd be good if we know like what the condition for activating one is because the because. You know, taking Ben 10 because, you know, here, of course, he's a Westaboo and he Bro, loves speaking his... speaking of Westaboo, quick, the Terminator references are fucking crazy. Did you see this motherfucking robot say, like, we are Skynet? <laughs> I don't know. Do you know what that's a reference to? Tell me you know that. Yeah, Terminator. Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> like, this man... <laughs> I can't. He's a whole Westaboo, right? So, like, he obviously watched Ben 10. He's like, okay... That's kind of, that, I'm just waiting. Someone's got to someone, fucking ask him if he's watched Ben 10. But I'm just waiting for him to, uh, waiting for someone to, when when they get to this part in the anime, because you know it will, mm-hmm. he's waiting for them to uh, put Deku, put the My Academia theme, and put the Ben 10 theme over it. No, you know what I want? I, you know how fucking Horikoshi draws, like, these Twitter sketches? I want him to draw Deku in, like, Ben 10's uniform, like, with the Omnitrix. <laughs> Like, Deku with the Omnitrix, and, like, instead of aliens, it's just all of his different quirks. <laughs> you already know that's just bound to happen, bro, because here's the thing, right? Ugh. It's it's so funny to me because, uh, what's his name? Hirokoshi. What's clearly, his name? Like, <laughs> bro, I never forget that name. That's disgusting. 
<laughs> Shut the fuck up, bitch. It's, it's funny because you have – I called it from the very get-go that this man <laughs> from Ben Tencent. Like, I called that. And oh, yeah, now yeah. he has to – Quirks, because because my 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 theory was was that he he can't use all the quirks at once, right? Just like how Ben can't use you know he can only use one alien at a time. So my thought process is is that he has to use one quirk at a time because if he uses two, it would like overexert his body, right? Like how like when he first started using all for one, something like that, right? Mm-hmm. So shit like that, and then I it's just I don't know. I I think I. Pre- Back to my point, I prefer it if it was, you know, the fucking, you know, she has to, we know about all the quirks. Now, at least get a general idea of who the, who the other, um, what's the, prophecies, not prophecies, uh, hairs, you know what I'm trying to say, right? The other all for one people were, right? Who mm-hmm. had, who had it? I, 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 the, the word I'm looking for, what is the predecessors? There we go. The predecessors were, be, so we can know what they are, so Deku could be like, okay, because I have to go back and look if he said, you're going to learn them eventually one by one, or you'll learn them when I you know... I could have it had something to do with, like, you know, you activated this because you like, needed to, or some shit. I don't know. Yeah. If that's the case, then we can know, like, what... If we know the quirks right away, we'll know, like, Deku can be like, okay, all I have to do is train, uh, put myself in this near-death situation to gain this quirk, right? I would like that. That's in like one piece levels. Like that, yeah, yeah, that'd be interesting. Like I would love that. Put myself I'm in like, weird, random, dangerous situations to like forcibly activate the quirks before they happen naturally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, <laughs> what, maybe, maybe if I jump out of a helicopter with no parachute. Oh wait, that's Black Whip. I already got that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> interesting. I will say, emotional as fuck. Th- this moment here where um. Uh, All Might's looking at him, and he's he remembers the you know eat my fucking hair moment, and like oh my god, yeah. like, and he's just like that shit seems like it was so long ago, and it fucking does, man, and and like he's just looking at him, and he's like you you always used to look back at me before you ever did an attack, but you're not anymore, and like oh my god, like the death flags for All Might, you god damn it, they're raising. And you don't need to anymore. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's literally like All Might's like, like literally All Might is like a dad right now who's like, oh, all right, son, you've left the nest. My usefulness is over. Yeah, <laughs> because you know he's gonna have to. I'm happy. I, I was, I was like, no, All Might, don't be like, oh, I missed the time. Like, because you know, Kakashi did that shit. He was like, I miss the miss the kids used to be happy with every time I said something or I've heard that shit in the, in the anime, right? Right. We're not ready. I mean, that was still kind of cute. Like, uh, like, I didn't have a problem with Kakashi saying that. No, I didn't have it either, but it was just like, come on, bro. Like, it, doesn't mean they're they're not, I, it doesn't mean he's not proud of them, but like, I mean, I, I feel like I'd, I'd feel the same way, you know, like, like that's how I feel. That's literally how I feel about Deku. Like, Deku was a more interesting character when he was more of a crybaby. <laughs> but at the same time, I'm proud of him because obviously he had to fucking develop as a character. So I'm I'm in a torn position. You know, no, for you all the way I know that like some of the crap. I'm be real. Then they're wrong. <laughs> then they're wrong. It's okay. They can be wrong. But like, uh, I liked him because like he he had a he was literally like the worst thing you like. We want to talk about all all like like let's pick any fucking minority in the world right now that's like treated shittily and like Deku was like the minority basically of that world like he went into the he went into the world quirkless because once let's think about it for a second once fucking humans got superpowers i'm gonna wager to guess most racism switched over to powered versus not powered just as like if um i'm not gonna say it doesn't exist completely but we haven't really seen it to my knowledge um but what we did see was remember the fucking quirk kkk (laughs) Quirk. You remember that shit that we saw in, 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 in the beginning of Villain Academia? Yeah, the quirk. <laughs> so I'm, quirk. What I'm, here's what I'm saying, bro. Here's what I'm saying. Just like how they always say, if aliens invaded right now, every single fucking beef that every country has with each other would immediately be erased and we'd all work together to fight the aliens. You know this is true, right? Yeah, but you know, there's no, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, in the same vein, in that same vein, when powers became a thing, I guarantee you, motherfuckers that hated black people and motherfuckers that hated white people and motherfuckers that hated Asian people were like, mm, I think I hate these people with superpowers more. Let's let's team up, you know? And yeah. and now that it's kind of flipped, because that's just unfortunately how the world works, like whoever is the majority, 
will end up shaping society and push down the minority. So, like, I have a feeling – like, that's kind of what I liked about Deku is, like, he was going into this world – being the biggest minority in that fucking world powerless quirkless and when and when he when you know he when he, his mother was told hey he's gonna be quirkless her reaction wasn't like oh it's okay son you'll be fine it was to fucking break down and sob and profusely apologize for how he was born that was dark and his crybabiness was from that you fucking live your life like that that people telling you to fucking casually kill yourself and ho- and hope and pray that you're born with better genetics. That's that was amazing. That was an amazing character. Yeah. Nowadays, I don't know. I've lost that relatability with him personally. But yeah, yeah. That's that, I mean that's the, that's one play people have is that like him getting a quirk kind of ruined the whole purpose of it. Teensy bit, that, but that's all right. I mean, I it's okay. I still enjoy it. Yeah, I mean, here's the thing, right? It's the same way. Sorry, I had to bring up Black Clover. Oh, by the way, you know that uh, for all you new fans out there, you know that uh, Hirokoshi and Tobato are best friends in real life. So there you go. Best. No more My Academia versus but, Black by the Clover. Way, by the way, by the way, um, I did uh, ask in our in one of our recent videos if people were down for streaming me catching up with Black Clover, and they, a lot of people said yes. Yeah, bro. Bro, we gotta find a weekend where, like, just a Saturday where you and I are doing nothing I, and just fucking I, just blaze through Black Clover and stream it. Follow what? us on Twitch. Where's our Twitch link? I think it's what? in our fucking channel art, and I'll try to fucking link it in the bottom. But yeah, if not, look for like in our channel art or Google Controlled Cast Twitch. We stream occasionally, and sometimes it's most of the time. I think it's fun. It's like live yeah. versions of these Whoa. All right. with interactivity. I'll read your comments anyway. Follow yeah. us there. White Clover's been hitting guys. What does that mean? I don't get that joke. <laughs> yeah, you you been seeing me see that, huh? I, I've seen it all over Twitter. I have no idea what it means. <laughs> yes. Black clover for white people. <laughs> I can't. Oh my what does that God. mean? Okay, all you black clover fans who are also my Hagodemia fans, I want you guys in the comments oh, to, oh. Explain, to explain the white clover <laughs> shirt to Red. Look at this interactivity right now. That's beautiful. So you want them to explain it to me in the comments? Because, because like I said. What, yep, because white clover be hidden. <laughs> white clover be hidden. All right. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Well, you do that. Um. All right. Moving on. Uh, Aries fucking horn is big now. Does that mean she like? And if I'm remembering correctly, when that happens, like her crazy fucking rewind shit goes out of control, right? Yeah, because I mean it has been a minute since I has always been there, probably. So. It's so probably. What do you think? Where Where are we going with this? Um, we'll see. I want to see uh, how it's because her horn got hella big. So I'm just like, what could this possibly mean for her in the future? Because because here, question can go hella dark with this. Like, oh, yeah, good. And, and you know, it's crazy timing, too. And, and part of me thinks her coach, she did this on purpose. But like literally like the same week that like her big like fucking crazy moment with Deku in the anime happened. Th- th- this is happening again. It's fucking yeah. weird timing. Well, yeah, it happened the same way with uh, White Clover. Stop. When, uh, when, when what's his name? Spoilers. Fuck White Fuck. Clover, talk about My Hero Academia before I fucking boot you. Never. Oh, really? So when you talk, when you have a my Hunter Hunter moment in one of our videos and then do a Hunter Hunter, I'm going to say, hey, talk about fucking the review, bitch. The difference huh? is I don't even know what the fuck White Clover is. Exactly. So shut the okay. fuck up with that. <laughs> Anyway, uh, it's the same thing because spoilers three, two, one. Uh, when Julius, when they Julius died in the uh, anime, uh, he was at in the manga. He was coming back alive, so it's the same way there, you know. So some silver areas going on, and you know, now she may, you know, I'm not saying she's gonna die because that's kind of dark, but you know, I mean, yeah, if he wanted to do some crazy shit, she could die and then rewind her own death somehow from beyond the grave. Rewind. So yeah, um, it really depends because because maybe it's like it means her horns like she's overflowing her powers or they're becoming unstable, you know, something like that. Well, it if really I remember de- correctly, her horn size had had to do with like I don't know because like I remember when they fucking stopped her from going nuts last time, her horn got real small and then it like grows up yeah. again to going nuts again, you know. So my guess is that because here because I has always been gone for a minute, you know, they probably had to. 
he's probably uh, yeah, like, quirk a race again. But that seems almost too easy. So I wonder, like, I wonder where this is gonna go and if there's gonna be some bullshit. Bullshit. <laughs> so um, yeah. Uh, anything else? And then now, obviously, we have the files with uh, with the previous fucking users of All for One and their quirks. And uh, still loving the fact that Bakugo gets to take place in all of these secret All Might Deku meetings. <laughs> That's just funny. Because, I mean, he's part of the, he's part of the thing now, you know? Right, it's, but, like, it's, it doesn't it's, even no. seem like Bakugo would care. Like, he's just there. Like, I guess I'm just here. Because, <laughs> uh, I mean, he, you know, deep down, he, here, uh, he know he's starting to realize now that, oh, shit, Deku's my rival, so I guess now I gotta do this then. Mm. Right? So... It really just man. If depending. I was Bakugo, I'd think that shit was hell unfair. I'd be like, "You get six quirks? What the fuck?" Bakugo is Bakugo so cocky though. He's like, "I can still blow it." He'll never admit. He'll be like, "Yeah, you need six quirks to compete with me." Yeah. <laughs> you need six quirks, yo. <laughs> you need that minimum. What six quirks? Now it's a fair fight. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh my god. It's just an accumulation of like every like cocky anime character. <laughs> I'm only using fifty percent of my power. Oh, <laughs> it's so funny. He's like a God Bakugo's like a weeb. Oh my god, no, <laughs> I got nothing, man. Also, how many more Uraka Deku moments do we need to officially shut up the Bakugo uh, Uraka people? Uh, depends. It'll never happen. Uh, trick question. They'll never shut up. I mean, they can enjoy their ship, I guess. They can enjoy their shipping, but uh, I can enjoy telling them they're wrong. Uraka and uh, Deku or be together. I don't need people fucking just, like burning their My Hero Academia volumes. Yeah, and do shit. not burn your fucking volumes like the Naruto fans did. We must even rise if, above that. Even if you do, that's a waste of money because. You know, here closer, I got the money from those volumes, so. Right, and, and wait, by the way, wait until some motherfucker accidentally, like, sets the whole goddamn forest on fire from that shit, and then, like, millions die. <laughs> Not millions, that's over-exaggeration, but, like, thousands. Like, can you imagine? Like, hmm, it looks like the source of this forest fire where thousands of people died and millions of dollars of property damage was from some fucking butthurt fan burning their My Hero Academia volume. And then Trump would fucking ban oh. manga, because you know he would. Ah, Garbage! Bro, do you think Rax the Hero would stop supporting Trump if he banned manga? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> you don't know this man. We love more Rax. Trump. Oh, are you? Oh, oh, are you fucking like getting on your knees and sucking this man's dick just because he likes Black Clover? <laughs> sucking this man's dick. I'm just saying the guy's. Uh, I'm just saying the guy has taste. Bro, I need to fucking stop it. <laughs> Rax, yeah. you. Why am I? Stop it. I need to stop. Ninety <laughs> percent of the people watching this have no idea what the fuck we're talking about. Hey, it's like I said, that white clover be hitting. <laughs> okay, final thoughts, predictions, therm therm. Um, well, I guess not, so. We're gonna probably get some more information on the uh, quirks, right? Uh, mm-hmm. we're probably gonna. I'm curious to see. What's going to happen with uh, League of Villains, Hawks, all that stuff? Best genus and his fucking head in a bag. Yeah, so, <laughs> best genus. How many chapters till All Might dies? Uh, okay. I'm going to say 10. Throw down a number right now. 10 to ten to 35. That's that, that's a big range. So, well, like, I don't think three months best. to a year, essentially. Oh, you talking about like you, like our timeline? No, I mean ten to thirty-five would be three months to a. I mean, like ten chapters would be like oh, it's like four a month. So that's like two and a half months to a little under a year is what you said. Yeah. So that'd be. I, I, oh God, I, that's crazy to think about that. It's like if it's that close, man. I when mean, that shit happens, makes- we gotta get our review out hella fast and capitalize on all them views. The first time ever where My Hero Academia comes out before One Piece. Yeah, and we cancel. F- we, we, at that point, we call off work to mourn for All Might. Yeah, that's actually so funny. Yeah? <laughs> Depends on... Uh... Can I cut to a live feed of my ex-girlfriend sobbing over All Might's death? 
Oh my god. It's like literally her favorite anime character of all time. Like, Kilua to me is all my turn. Don't do Reb like that. Reb is fine. <laughs> Listen, as anime fans, do you? we love fucking watching. Like, tell me when you're showing someone One Piece. Like, you're, you're waiting for that ace death scene. Like, yeah, I can't wait to see the reaction to that. Like, don't even lie. Yeah. I love watching <laughs> those reactions to death. In fiction. I, I'm a real. I do that. I, I watch my academic rea- uh, reaction reviews. Uh, not reactions. Uh, reviews. Uh, I watch those reactions. I yeah, watch. You go back to the uh, fucked up chapters and see people like. Bro, watch Chibi Review's fucking live reaction to the chapter where people thought Hisoka died in Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> Really? Oh my god. He straight up was like, oh my god, he's dead. Because remember, it like shows his body for a second, so people like straight up thought he was dead. Everyone! I, everyone thought he was dead for like three pages. <laughs> I didn't think this man was dead, though. Like, he, he went sitting a... there with a dead body, and it's Horik- or, and it's Togashi. He, he, he's a mad lad to do that. Yeah, yeah, you're right, but no, I didn't believe that. I, I read that shit weekly, no. Literally no. too dumb. He's too dumb to properly react to what the author wanted him to react to. He's so <laughs> dumb that he was smart. That's, that's cringe. <laughs> so you better what do you use mean? that same you energy so with dumb. a new Kaizen, my guy. Because that's going to... <laughs> Bro. No. <laughs> you're so dumb, you're smart. People will get it. People know what I'm talking, talking about. <laughs> you're so dumb, you're smart. Yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you're so dumb that you don't pick up on... Okay, so like, for example, like if you walk into a room... And like, I'm I'm analyzing some shit in the corner, and you missed that shit in the corner. But that shit that I was analyzing ended up being a trap, and then I get hit by it. I was so smart that I was dumb, and you were so dumb that you were smart. Okay, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I, get it. I get it. I really do. But you know, it's it's dumb. I know it's dumb. I'm prolonging this as a joke. Okay, I think that's a piece for me. <laughs> Fuck you, Thurman. (laughs) Oh, what time, baby? Peace.